What's up, everybody? How are you guys all doing today? <laughs> Great to hear from you guys. Man, the hearts are already flying. That's a good sign. It means we're ready to have some fun today. <laughs> very, very cool. Zappy is in the hour. Whatever that means. <laughs> What's up, guys? Hey, Garrett. How's it going, man? We got Aussies here. We got everybody's here in the house. <laughs> very cool. Welcome from SoCal. Tony Sinclair. <laughs> oh, man. Very, very cool. Sorry. <laughs> he, said, yeah. I interrupt. he was watching the sales video. I interrupted him. Watching a webinar from mine from three years ago. Dang. I wonder what I was selling way back three years ago. <laughs> Hopefully it's still relevant. What's up, Corey? Man, this is fun. A lot of you guys on here. Ben Atkins, what's up, dude? How's it going, my man? All right. We're already over 100 people. We haven't got started yet. All right. Before we get started, how about this? When we get to 1, 130, we'll get started. I'll share with you guys some stuff. So if you want to get to 130, you got to share this. So move your little finger over, click on share, and I can give you guys my big idea for today. But you gotta share. Otherwise, we're not gonna, we're at 110 right now, so we need, we need some more, we need at least 20 more people. So, Wyndham just invited. Toby and Lala just invited her followers. Thank you, thank you. Surgery, uh, survey strategies. Morgan just invited her followers. Thank you, Morgan. Garrett's fault. Thanks, guys. Thanks for sharing. Okay, more and more people are coming. Awesome. All right, while we are waiting, Jim Bunch to share. Thanks, man. James. Everybody's such good shares. Preston Taylor just shared. Corey Boatwright just shared. Oh, we got a ClickFunnels virgin on the line. <laughs> oh, awesome. The next Funnel Hacker event is uh, in March. We'll be promoting that coming up soon, and it'll be fun. All right, you guys, we are almost 230 people, so I can almost get started, but I need some hearts to it. The hearts give me more energy, so I'm going to be boring, or I can... Oh, someone made the first five grand in ClickFunnels and disappeared. Dang, well, congratulations on that. That's exciting. All right, two more people when we get started, guys. Two more people. Thank you, everyone, for sharing. I need a whole bunch of hearts. The more hearts, the better. So the fastest way, you click once, I get a couple hearts. You double tap, I get more hearts. You triple tap, I get a lot. But if you just go like this, it doesn't get any hearts. You gotta, you gotta pound it out. You gotta have some fun with it. <laughs> All right, killing infusion soft. All right, cool. So welcome, guys. We are at 130 people. We can have some fun now. So um, I actually started doing Periscope on this on Friday. I was at my daughter's soccer game. I started doing it, and a bunch of you guys jumped on. And then, uh, and then <laughs> my wife kept calling through on my phone and I kept kicking you guys off and so we never got it finished. But I was talking about a concept called creating desire in your, in your customers. Because if you're looking for cold traffic or if you're looking for cold leads and you want to get them to buy your products, there's one thing that really, really matters, okay? And it is desire. You got to create desire. If they don't have desire, they're not going to buy. And typically, if they have no idea who you are, it's like, how do, you, how do we create desire in, in a product or a service or in you, in your brand, enough so that someone's gonna go, hey, where's my wallet? I need to pull it out. I gotta give Russell or you or whoever that is some money, right? Check it out, I got a ClickFunnels logo on my wallet. Just because it's, it's symbolic, so I never, so I always remember where. Anyway, so um, if you guys want a ClickFunnels uh, wallet logo sticker, give me a triple tap, I wanna know. Uh, and you should see some hearts when you click on your screen. It's gotta be on your phone screen though. If you guys are live, that doesn't work. Anyway, so we got a bunch of these stickers coming out. Actually, they're made to go on your uh, on your laptop. So that if you if you got a Mac like this right here and you put the sticker on it, then when you turn the Mac on, like the sticker lights up. Anyway, we got a bunch of those. They're kind of cool. So uh, we're making some more ClickFunnels swag. Everyone keeps asking for it. So um, anyway, so the big key that I'm talking about here is creating desire. So we just did a six day event last week. I'm a little tired, actually. You guys can probably tell. I'm a little worn out from that. It's six days live. But uh, we spent two days on a concept we call, I'm going to erase this board for you guys so we can talk about it, uh, on, a, on how we convert cold traffic. Okay, that was what two of the entire days was about because uh, most of us are really good at, at uh, convincing our warm traffic to buy, right? Somebody, somebody that's on your list or somebody that's in your world and you ask them to buy something, it's pretty easy, right? You can be like, hey, go buy this thing. And they're like, sweet, I'm in. Um, so that's, that's hot traffic. So all right, this right here, this is, this is hot traffic. Okay, these guys are very easy. They just want to give you money. Not very hard at all. So if you've been like, my list buys it, but I advertise it on Facebook or Google, nobody gives me money, that's why. Your hot traffic loves you. They will give you money for almost anything. Like for some of you guys right now, if I'm like, hey, can you just wire me some money? I bet some of you guys would just do it. You wouldn't even ask, because that's just how it works after a while, right? So your hot traffic, that's not what the event was about. Then we've got like our warm 
traffic, right? So the warm traffic, these are all the people that are not so much like your exact customers, but they're in your world. Like they're, they're your joint, they're on your joint venture partners list or they're reading blogs about this topic or they're, they're, they understand like what it is you're selling. And so all you got to convince them of is that your stuff's awesome. Like it's pretty easy to do. It's not that hard because they, they probably already like you, right? Like you or love you. Okay. And I talked about this a lot in my book, dot com secrets. If you guys don't have this yet, um, go to dot com secrets book.com. And basically, I read all those books right here and then wrote this book based on all the best stuff, right? So you get the book, and that's, that's cold traffic, or that's warm traffic, right? So these ones are pretty easy. They're not quite as easy. They're still pretty easy. So I'll do a little, a little dollar sign, right? Then over here, you have cold traffic, okay? These are the people that don't know who you are. They don't know anything about you. They're like the cold, hard masses, right? And so these guys, you're coming out. It's, it's the equivalent of, I always tell people this, like, this is how you know if your offer works to cold traffic. You go down to the food court at the mall. Okay, and uh, let's say I'm in the food court and there's like, all these people walking around. If I stand up on my chair and I say, hey, everyone, stop right now, uh, and then yell out what is your product, how many of those people in the audience would want to buy it? Okay, so for example, if I walked out into, this, into the food court right now, I was like, hey, I got software that builds funnels. How many of you guys want it? What do you think would happen? <laughs> Not one new to the food court would look at me, right? If you guys agree, give me a double tap. Nobody cares. Nobody in the food court is going to know what, what, what a funnel is. Okay, and most of you guys are the same way. You've got your product, your service, your thing you sell. So you walk out to the food court and you yell, "Hey, who wants my blah?" And nobody looks. Okay, and you're like, "Why is nobody buying?" Okay, and the reason why is because you are used to speaking to your warm traffic. You're using techno babble. I learned that from Kim Claver. Using other words that your market cares about, but the masses don't know about. Okay, and so it's easy to sell those people. It's easy to sell people that are in your market that that may not know you yet, but they know your partners and stuff. But if you want these guys, the cold hard masses, to give you money, you have to change the process. Okay, so that's what the whole event was about for two days. We called it the Funnel Catcher event, and it was all about how to build bridges, these pre-framed bridges that create desire. Desire is the key. If I can get you to desire something, then over here, you will give me money. Okay, so the 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 goal of this this preframe bridge is to create desire, and that's what the event was all about. And it was really really fun. We showed a bunch of kinds of uh, of preframe bridges. You guys want me to share with you some of them? You want to know? I need a triple tap, or a quadruple trap, or like a five tap. But again, you gotta you gotta pound it off. You're just like hitting it or your screen. No hearts are coming, you guys. You gotta go crazy on it. I needed a whole bunch of hearts. If you want to know some of these preframe bridges, I know what they are. I don't need to know. This is not for my health. But if you guys want it, all right, Alex is tapping away. He wants in. <laughs> all right, need some more hearts, you guys. All right, I I'm willing to share with you guys a couple of these if you want, okay? And again, I spent, we spent two days at the event going through this. So I can't like, in, in a five-minute periscope, give you everything. But I want you, I want to get the wheels in your head spinning so you know where to kind of go and what, what to be looking for, okay? And so um, for desire right here, I got I to gotta create something that's going to cause desire. So something before I sell my thing right here, right? So... Um, a couple of examples of these surveys are really good uh, for creating desire, right? I create a survey where I ask people certain questions. So let's say I go to the, to the food court and I say, hey, how many of you guys want to make some more, would love to get rich on the internet? And I yell that out at the food court. How many people are going to be interested? Most of them, right? They're going to look at me like, what? I, I want money. I want to make money on the internet. Oh, cool. If you want to learn how to make money on the internet, take this survey, right? Boom, a desire bridge. They start taking the survey. They start going through this process. And uh, at the end of the survey, throughout the survey or throughout this pre-frame bridge, whatever it is, I can start educating and I can, I can help them to bridge the gap on different concepts I need them to understand. And by the end of it, if I do this process right, I've created desire and now they want to give me money. Now they've been warmed up to where I need and want to take them. Okay, so surveys are one way. Uh, contests, giveaways, uh, article pages, blog pages, videos. It's a whole bunch of pre-framed bridges you can design, but all of them, the goal is to create desire in the mind of your prospects. Okay, and so that's what we spent two days on. It was amazing. I think I had a good time. I think most everybody else had a good time as well. For those of you guys who were there at the event and loved it, give me a triple tap. I know a bunch of you guys were there because we talked about Periscope on it. <laughs> All right, so triple, yeah, you guys are there. You had a good time. So that's what we talked about. If you guys didn't go, you need to start coming to our events. Like we go deep in the fun stuff, the stuff that really, really matters, okay? And so a lot of you guys, again, like I know, you're already converting to warm traffic, so don't worry about that. It's easy. 
Converting cold traffic, that's your dream 100, that's things like that we always talk about. That's not that difficult, but if you wanna start getting cold traffic and start expanding your business and growing it, you've gotta be able to learn how to change your language patterns and how to, after you do that, to, to attract the masses, bring them in through a pre-frame bridge to create desire to get them to want to buy your product, your service. And that's, that's the magic, you guys. That's how it all works. So I just wanna share that with you guys. Again, there's, I wish we could spend two days right now on Periscope and go through everything, but we can't. But hopefully it gets the wheels in your head turning and you start thinking, man, what do I need to say to get the cold hard masses into my world? And then what process can I take them through? What kind of pre-frame bridge can I take them through to cause desire so they want to do it? So, uh, sweet notice that 25 group is worth every penny. That was epic. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. We had an awesome time. What is my vision with ClickFunnels? That's a good question. My vision with ClickFunnels is to take over the world. No, um, uh, you can see a lot of it. It's, uh, I did a podcast on this a little while ago. You know, when we first launched ClickFunnels, it's funny, a lot of people are like, when, when did you come up with the idea with Actionetics and Backpack? Like, those were from day one. Like, we had the ClickFunnels explainer video, the Actionetics and the Backpack explainer videos all created the exact same day. Um, and so that was the vision from day one. And uh, you guys will see, it, it's more, more fun stuff is coming very, very soon. So anyway, appreciate you guys jumping on the Periscope. Hey, hope you had an awesome time. Again, I like keeping these short and giving you guys some ideas and some things to think about. If you had fun today, give me a triple tap. Mark said I'm superhuman. I feel tired right now, though. <laughs> After six days, I had a day off yesterday. I had to come in today to get some stuff done. I'm gonna go home and sleep. Actually, I'm going to the corn, the corn maze. Of my kids tonight. We're gonna go have some fun. It's gonna be awesome. So, uh, very, very cool. Anyway, I appreciate you guys. Thanks so much for hanging out today. And uh, and man, so many questions coming through. I wish I could answer them all right now. Uh, but I can't. I gotta go. You gotta go. Get back to work. Get back focusing. Get back changing the world. Serve people in your way. And uh, it'll change the world. It'll be amazing. So I appreciate you guys. Thanks so much for hanging out today. And I will talk to you guys all again tomorrow. Check it out tomorrow. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs> Michael said, of course, the wrestler knows about tapping out. <laughs> See you guys. Bye.